Ortiz Jr. taking on the Mean Machine, who's 22 and 1 and 1. I have him here. All right, now we're going to be joined by arguably two of the most exciting fighters in the world. The WBO international title on the line. The main event live on the zone from Lithuania, the ever dangerous Igis, the mean machine. Oh, you can make some more noise for that. More noise for that. Come on now. This dude comes to fight every single time. We've been watching for a while now. What's up, guys? There it is. Our Espanol, right? Mucho Espanol today? Poquito. Poquito. Oh, oh man. Se llama Poquito. And defending the WBO title, the undefeated phenom. Grand Prairie, Texas, get it right, Grand Prairie, Texas, 17-0, representing RGBA, all knockouts, Virgil Ortiz. That's going to be a good one, live on the zone Saturday. Virgil, I'm going to start with you. You fought here before the undercard event. You're not too far from where you grew up. Now you're the main event. This is what you want. This is what you deserve. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. You know, uh, this is my second time fighting in Frisco, Texas. The first time I fought outside of the arena, and now I'm the main event inside, so this is pretty cool. And I'm, I'm ready to put on a good show. Yes. You must put on a good show. You always come to put on a good show. Why take on a fight against a young man who's 17 and 0 who's knocked everybody out? Because it's going to be a good show. Simple as that. Simple as that. Why are you so confident? Because I love to fight. This is what I do. This is boxing. I love it. It's going to be a crazy fight. Crazy fight? Why? A great, great fight. It's going to be a great show. We're going to be there. I know his style. He knows my style. We're going to go there to fight. Well, Joe, you hear that. And I know, first of all, there could be no trash talking here. These two are just classy, respectful, great guys, right? But at the same time, I heard you say, oh, you can talk. You can think. But when you get in the ring, I want to punish people. That was a quote from you I read this week. What is it about your mindset that has you thinking like that? Well, I'm pretty sure this applies to all boxers. You know, you're well, you're a different person outside of the ring, and once you get into the ring, it's down to business. That's just the way that I am, you know? Just the way I am. Uh, I'm not going to poke the bear here. <laughs> <laughs> Why take on this fight? Because this is, well, this is a fight that everyone's been asking for. I feel like uh, our our styles complement each other pretty good. That means we're, you're going to get a pretty all-around exciting fight. Even the slow parts are going to be one of the parts to keep an eye on as well. You know, it's just going to be one of those fights that I'm going to be looking forward to watch after. Even the slow parts are going to be something to watch for. It's like, okay, you got the smirk, you got the smile, you know what you're up against. Watching this young man from a distance, what do you see? Fire. He brings fire to the ring all the time. And I like that. It's not a homemade fight. It's not a homemade fight. This is the kind of fight that you want. It, it seems like this is the fight that the boxing fan is going to enjoy a lot. Oh, yeah. They've been watching. They've been asking for that fight. And we get to the fights. Are you, the now, there's other fighters who have heard your name. And they're like, ah, maybe not. Not right now. He did. Are you surprised? No, I'm not. I know he's a warrior, so I'm not surprised with that. The main event Saturday live on the zone. Virgil, the last time you fought, you weren't 100%. Coming off of COVID and injury, now are you 100%? I feel pretty good. I feel as close as to 100% as, as a boxer can get. Uh, we prepared really hard for this fight. Um, Pretty good sparring, very great sparring, and uh, like I said, we're we're ready for we're ready for Saturday. Saturday now, everybody's gonna go and say, "Okay, Virgil, you beat him, Crawford Spence." And I know you, it's no disrespect to you, but look, you're not looking past an opponent. But you get tired of hearing that, and I gotta ask that, so don't hit me. I do get tired of it. Um, I just feel like they're trying to push a narrative right now. I'm just focusing on uh, Igis right now. This is the fight that I want to focus on. I'm talking to interviewers that I'm going to be talking to in a few minutes. Don't don't ask me about Crawford and Spence because that's not the fight that we're worried about right now. We're worried about this one. All right, go ahead. Direct the yeah. topic too. All right, you guys hear that? Change what? your questions right now. You got like okay, five, so, five uh, minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you can finish. Go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. You're good? All right. Uh, am I allowed to ask you about Crawford? 
No, no oh, problem. All right, so um, no, no problem for him. <laughs> but that's what, exactly what this is about. I say you guys are so focused on each other. How was camp for you? Very good. Camp was camp. Camp was long, good. I like all the hard work was put in the ring, in the training. So right now it's just it's just show. Let's get the show. Virgil, I'm not even going to poke the bear, ask another question. So why don't you guys line up. Main event, Saturday live on The Zone, the Mean Machine, Lithuania. Virgil Ortiz, why don't you guys uh, right here pose. There it is. Uh, look, at the, look at the media, pictures. There it is. Class all the way around. Heck of a fight, Saturday main event. Undefeated Virgil Ortiz, 17-0, the Mean Machine from Lithuania. Poquito Espanol. And here's the face off. Virgil with his father in his corner, Team Pita. Tickets still available, SeatGeek.com from the star in Frisco, Texas. That's the main event.